Hey everybody, I just want to make this really kind of a quick update. Um, V-Day ups and downs. What does that mean? It means that my weight has gone up and down over the weekend. Um, after I weighed in on Friday with a 2.5 gain and, um, of, and I was at 281, I proceeded to make bad choices all weekend. Yep. I went out to eat with Gary three times and I made no good choices. I had soda. Do you know how long it's been since I've had soda? Weeks, and I had soda. Not even diet soda, I had regular soda, twice. I had drinks, like alcoholic drinks, twice. Um, I had probably like the fattiest things on the menu quite a few times. And you know what? I weighed myself on Sunday morning and I was up three pounds. Now, I know that those three pounds are not fat. Um, part of it probably is, but most of it is probably water weight from the sodium that I was taking in because, like I had said before, I was really concentrating on not um, having a lot of sodium. So, I'm convinced that a lot of it is water weight, and I convinced myself that I can get back down to 281 by Friday. So I'm trying to work these three pounds off to get back down to 281. So then from there, I can work back down towards where I was at 278.5. Oh, I've made a big mess of myself. But I know that these things happen. This is life. There are going to be celebrations. There's going to be birthdays. There's going to be parties. There's going to be anniversaries. There's going to be times when you go out to eat and... What I've learned is I just really need to make sure I make better choices. I can still have a good time. I could still have had a good time going out to eat those three times if I was drinking water. Um, if I wasn't eating the fattiest thing on the menu. You know, if I was choosing better choices. And I really just need to concentrate on making those good choices when I go out. Um, so, like I said, I'm not beating myself up. I'm re-dedicating myself. And I feel like I found my motivation again. I feel like it was lost for a little while, but I found it. Um, I went to the lake yesterday and I went walking. Now the first time I went to the lake with Gary um, a few weeks back I ta recorded and we went two laps so we went 1.6 miles. Well yesterday by myself I walked and I jogged a little bit. Yeah I did it. Um, four laps so I went 3.2 miles yesterday so I was very proud of myself. Um, Something I wanted to share about that was before I went, I've been having issues with my exercise shoes. When I've been working out, my toes have been going numb, and I don't under I didn't understand why. I thought maybe I bought shoes that were too small, and so I was about to actually figure out if I need to go buy new shoes. Well, I did a little research online because that's what I do. I Google everything, and I figured out that what I should do is redo my laces on my shoes. So instead of crisscrossing them, now the line the laces are going straight across. I skipped the very first set of eyelets at the bottom and oh my gosh it made such a difference my feet are so comfy in my shoes for those 3.2 miles yesterday my toes did not fall asleep at all very exciting I feel like that's one of the reasons I went so far um, as you guys have seen in my video on Thursday I talked about how I want to run I want to be a runner okay so that's why I started jogging a little bit yesterday Granted, I probably only jogged like 20 seconds at a time, and I only did it like three times in those 3.2 miles, but it was something. And so I decided the next time I go to the lake or I go walking or wherever, except at the gym, I am terrified to run on the treadmill at the gym. I don't want to fall off the treadmill. That is probably like my worst fear. Well, one of my worst fears. So anytime I'm going to go walking around, you know, out, I figured out that I can go walking around the neighborhood around my work. And I won't be embarrassed to jog because most people are at work at that time. So I'm going to start doing that a couple times a week. Maybe tomorrow. So I told myself, walk, and then when you feel like jogging, jog. And then when you need to stop, stop. And don't beat yourself up. Just jog when you can and stop when you need to. So I really would like to build up to running. It's going to take me a long time, but people on The Biggest Loser do it. So I think I can do it too. Um, I got a comment to that video by, her name is Liz Sully 24 I hope I'm saying that right, and she wants to be a runner too. She is working on the Couch to 5K program, 
and she says it's awesome and it makes her feel good and she says that if I want to start a challenge with her um where we want to we all want to be runners we should do it so Liz if you're watching this and I hope you are and I hope your name is Liz <laughs> um I would love to start this challenge with you I don't know how to start one I've never started a challenge I don't know what we should do so if you want to message me and we can get the ball rolling on this that would be cool I'm so up for it motivation 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 Okay, so that's all for now. Um, I will see you guys on Thursday for Night Before the Weigh-In and then Friday for the Weigh-In. Hopefully, I'm down to 281. Please just let me be down to 281. That's all I want. Um, I made a little photo montage of pictures of me and Gary through our relationship, kind of in honor of Valentine's Day, which just passed this past weekend. Um, in May, we will have been together for eight years. So this is just a little montage of pictures of us. Um, set to music. This is kind of like our song, kind of. It's probably a lot of people's song, but it became our song um, on our honeymoon. We never really had a song before that, and we heard this song on our honeymoon a lot, and we kind of fell in love with it, and we fell in love with Jason Mraz, and we're both big fans of Jason Mraz, and that's like this one cool thing that we have in common is um, our love for Jason Mraz. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy the video montage, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Tried to beat you, but you so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my best. This and nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it took in my turn to win some or learn some, but I won't hey, it's our take no more, no more. It cannot wait I'm yours Find love.